everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central. We're coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video. And today we're going to talk about user access or user roles on the Big IP. And so when you have a Big IP, you know, this, this system does a whole lot of different stuff. And so you don't necessarily, when you, when you create a user that has access to that Big IP, you don't want to give that user necessarily access to everything. And so what we've done here at F5 is we've created a lot of different user roles, uh, as it were, on the Big IP. And so when you, when you're in your, uh, you know, you're at your company, you're managing your Big IP, and you, you got a new guy that joins the team, you want to give him access, then uh, you know you may not want to give him admin. You may want to give him something a little lower than that. So I want to go through a few of those uh, examples of the of the different user accounts or the different user roles. So you have your Big IP over here. I'll just draw a couple of little things here. Big IP, and then you can create user, I'll say user roles um, on the Big IP. And so there are several of them, and we'll point to these uh, in, the, uh, in the details of this video down at the bottom. Uh, so look for those. But if, a couple of them that I'll mention is you've got like admin, which gives you complete access to everything on the box, essentially. Um, but, of course, you don't want everyone to have admin, and so we start to break it down. So we have things like, you know, manager, I'll just put MGR. Um, we have, uh, you know, operator. We have some, some other ones like that. So I'll just, I'll mention a few of them. Again, this is not a complete list. And so there are a few roles that you're going to see when you create a new user on your Big IP. You can create uh, the role that that user has. And then I'll also mention uh, the concept of a partition as well. So I'll just put partition up here. So you can have on your big IP, you can have maybe a partition where you have one application defined. You've got all your virtual servers there and all your pools and pool members and all that stuff that are associated with that application. Well, you may have a partition dedicated, you know, to say app one. And then you may have another one over here, you know, app two. You may have another one down here that's like all your users and so you you know you store all your user data on that partition whatever so you can partition the big ip as well and so whenever whenever you create a user role you know if i was going to create wagnon the user wagnon then i'm going to create that user role i'm going to or i'm going to create that user i'm going to give that user a certain role and then i'm going to assign that to a partition or more you can actually assign them across partitions so you can give them access to more than one partition um, all right so those are so admin is kind of the big keys to the kingdom type role and then these other ones uh, start to go down in in terms of what you can do and again there's a whole bunch of them there are a few i was going to mention uh things like um like a app security manager i'll put app security manager here uh there's a firewall manager uh role uh, there's a few specific ones those are just two examples that you're not going to see those roles until you provision uh, the module that's associated with those roles. Like, for example, the app security uh, manager role that you need to provision ASM, and then you're going to see that role uh, appear in your, in your role list. Uh, whereas the firewall manager, you need to provision AFM, then you'll see that role. Then you can assign users based on the provisioning there. So, so there are some roles that you're going to see across the board, and then there's some that you're going to see only when you provision certain modules. Alrighty, so now that you got your big IP, all users are defined, all the roles are associated, they're uh, given access to different partitions, then, uh, then you can do all of that locally. You can manage all that stuff locally on the big IP, or you can come over here and have remote administration of that. So we can say remote uh, user um, admin. And so if you do this remotely, the big IP uh, has access to remote access servers, and we, uh, we have the capability of talking to LDAP. I'll just put these up here. We have Radius, we have TACAX Plus, and then we have Active Directory. Okay, so any of these uh, uh, user access, or access uh, servers are able to communicate with the big IP. So you can actually manage all these user roles on these servers as well. You can do it remotely. And so some people, uh, so feel free to do that. So some people say, well, hey, maybe I want, I don't want the full admin permissions, but I want something a little more than say the manager role, for example. So I need, I need kind of that configurable, sort of that unique custom uh, role. So what do you do in that case? And I'll and I'll put uh, I'll put a 
uh, custom app right here in the middle. So let's say, let's say you need that really granular, you know, granular control. What you could do is you could build your own custom app, almost like a middleware as it were, that would interact with the big IP and you could do that via eye control. I'll put uh, rest or you could do the soap based eye control. Uh, that would, that would um, communicate with the big IP, it would interact with the big IP, and then you could control that, uh, that access here on your custom app that you build in the middle. And so, uh, so if you really have need, a need for that really granular um, access control, then you could do that on your own. Uh, but like I said, there are actually several user roles that are already predefined, and, uh, and for most, I, I think for most customers, you're gonna find what you need just by using some of the ones that are pre-built on the big IP. Um, so again, Big IP does a lot of stuff, and you as you can as you create user accounts, you don't want to just give everybody everything, um, and so that's why there's all these different uh, user roles that can do all these different things. So I hope you've learned a couple of couple of quick things here today. Again, we'll um, there's a lot of articles or a lot of a uh, lot more details that are out there on this topic. So we'll we'll point to those things so that you can dig into the details of it as well. Uh, but wanted to give you a, an overview of what you have out there on the Big IP. So thanks for listening today, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.